dogs in this robe. <laughs> Today is actually my 27th birthday. I've had a very, very chill day, which I really like. It's been very just easy going. Really haven't done anything all day, but I just got out of the shower. I have dinner plans with three of my friends at a place called Mamo in Soho. I've never been. It looks really, really, really good. And I just thought I would switch up my St. Ambrose. Honestly, I wanted to go to St. Ambrose, <laughs> but I'm like, okay, I need to do something else. Like I can't keep going to this one place. Um, and honestly, St. Ambrose is me and Kane's spot. Like we always go there together and he's not here with me this year. I'm gonna apply some body serum to my body and feel soft and fresh. <laughs> um, and honestly, I'm starting this vlog so late because I was in such a chill mode. This morning I woke up, I got coffee, I was reading, I was just playing the TV. I really was not doing anything, but one of my best friends, Bailey, sent these gorgeous flowers I will show you. I took clips of them, which I will insert here because the light this morning was a lot nicer than right now. Um, and I'm just so grateful to have Bailey and she doesn't live here so I wish that I could spend today with her too but she's not here um, but it's just so thoughtful and kind when people send you gifts like I don't expect anything I never want anything but when you have just like she's so sweet she's so kind um, and then my sister sent me flowers this year I've received a lot of deliveries which is very new to me but it's so so sweet I never ask for anything I don't want anything I used to, when I was younger, I loved gifts and I was like, yay, presents. I honestly have no expectations on my birthday. As I get older, I have less and less expectations. <laughs> my reservations are at 7 p.m. and I feel like it's too early to get ready, but every time I say that, I take five years to just do anything. <laughs> and then I'm running late. I feel like I've been late to my birthday every single year. And it's just like not appropriate. I really shouldn't be late. Um, so I should get ready because it's like almost five, like let's get ready and then clean up after ourselves. I decided to just go classic and comfortable because I like classic, like call it boring, whatever. I love wearing black. I love a slip dress. I love black. Like I know I said it, but it's just, it's what I'm most comfortable in. And I know that so many people, especially like my age or whatever, like they dress fun and they do different colors and they do like themes or whatever. And I'm just like, First off, it was hard for me to even like make a plan and be like, I'm gonna do something on my birthday to not like sit at home and like cry by myself. <laughs> but also I just wanna be comfortable and like, I just like a chill vibe. I don't like to make a big ordeal or event of things. Um, so I'm like, let's be comfortable and do what works for us because I feel like I'm really in my trying and regretting era. <laughs> Like, I keep trying new things. I try new coffee shops. I try new drinks. I try new spots. I try new restaurants. I try new outfits. I'm trying a lot of new things, which is pretty out of the ordinary for me, but I feel like I keep regretting it because, for example, I got my nails done yesterday. This is what they look like. Some of you guys might like it. Some of you guys might not. So I have a nice little thick cut here. I have a cut here. I have a cut here. Um, and I have a cut, I'm not sure if you can see it, here. Sorry I'm like showing you my cuts on my fingers, but I decided to try gel dip. That's not what it's called, dip powder, dip powder nails. I think that that's totally what it is. And the nail tech was lovely. She really took her time. She did a great job. I asked for oval. She definitely made the shape oval. Like she really did a great job. It's not even her, it's more so me, but I'm just like, it's, I don't love the look. I'm like, I tried this for the first time. I don't love the look. I feel like it doesn't even look good. Like it makes my finger and fingers look fat and like stubby, which is, I don't know. Like, it's just my thought. Like, I don't want to offend anyone, but like genuinely I'm like, why do my fingers look like this? Like I look at it and I'm like, oh, <laughs> it kind of looks like it's like expanded at the ends. And maybe I'm just not used to it. I'm not a big fan, honestly. And they hurt. Like I have all these cuts on my hand now. I was taking a shower and it was burning. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not cheap to get your nails done and it doesn't matter I feel like where I go or what I do It's never a good experience either my nails chip like immediately or it peels off or the color is not what I think it is It's just like I feel like nail places in New York. There's so many of them, but like I don't know I haven't had the best luck but I feel like for the price point and like the fact that now my fingers hurt and I don't love the way that it looks 
See, I'm regretting it. <laughs> but you know what? It's not a big deal. Like, it's literally not even a problem. I'm just sharing what my experience was about my birthday because I decided to do this for myself for my birthday. And I kind of regret it because I'm like, you know what? I could have done this myself and used the money to do something else, you know? That's just where I'm at with it. So I hope I didn't offend anyone because I know these days everything is offensive. Okay, it's 5.30. I'm gonna start getting ready. I will start with my favorite product ever. This, this is honestly the best product ever. This is the Hourglass Veal Primer. While I put this on, I hope you enjoy all the sounds of the apartment. <laughs> There's so much sound. I typically do the whole face and then the eyes, but because today I'm just gonna like figure something out for the eyes, I will start with the eyes. I'll just link everything down below instead of just talking about it because I don't want this to take five years. Look at how beautiful this is. I got this as a Christmas present last year and it's so pretty, but I don't have any occasion to wear these beautiful shades. It's a lot darker than like obviously my day to day. Maybe I'll do this all over the lid and like this in the crease. I'm gonna use this brush and put this all over the lid. Wish me luck. <laughs> the eyeshadow is very lightweight. I'm very impressed. Like I really don't even feel it on. We're in this together, you guys. <laughs> Applying more pressure to the ends because I want it to be a little bit darker kind of like you would apply to your crease, but I think I'm gonna make the crease darker than that. So I just put this all over the lid. Now I'm gonna go in with this color. It's more of like a true gunmetal silver. I'm so not used to having darker shades on my lids. This is very new to me, um, but I hope it looks good. Okay, I feel like that's good enough. I'll use the same shade I put in my crease on the lower lash line just to kind of like tie the look together. Like I don't want to press very hard because I want to do just a little bit. Now I will use the black shade and do a little bit like darker on the ends. I feel like this is like black swan makeup. Okay, this is a little too intense. I will use some makeup remover and I don't know. I feel like this is too much and just erase what I did. <laughs> Moving on to the face, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in the shade seven. This is my more tanned shade um, and I love this foundation. It's really nice if I wanna actually like do a foundation. On my day to day, if I'm wearing makeup, I like to use the like Merit Foundation Skin. This is my favorite for more like glam makeup because it's a little bit thicker, even though I don't feel it on the face. It definitely is more of like an actual foundation than the Merit foundation stick. It's more like day to day. I don't feel it on the face. It's very natural. It kind of like wears throughout the day. Um, but this is my like foundation foundation. I knew this would happen. Now I'm like kind of running late, so I'm a little nervous. So I do not want to be late and make people wait because that is rude. Having foundation on and an eye look looks so much better because it just like makes sense. Whenever I do eyes only and I have no like foundation or like face makeup on, it just looks so weird to me. So this is a way better approach. Going in with my all-time trusty concealer, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade I've been using this for 10 years and I always have to look to make sure in the shade Custard. This is the best concealer ever. I'm just gonna do this, a little around the nose and on the chin. I always like to blend using the finger because I just feel like everything gets smoothed out and it goes into your face better. Into your face. So and I put whatever excess is on my finger on my forehead, like between my eyebrows, because I feel like it's not so much product where it looks like white and um, it looks like obvious. It's just like a little bit and it creates a different shade. Now I will put on some powder to set the makeup and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I don't love powder unless it's the Laura Mercier loose powder because that one just, it's like a magic powder. But I love powder for under the eyes because your makeup just like doesn't move and it stays put. But I get like an oily T-zone, so I don't, 
I don't know. I feel like powder just makes it look cakey, but it's essential to fix the oily tea zone. My battery keeps dying. I keep drinking coffee and I am now officially running late. So I'm gonna speed this up. I will now do some bronzer. I love a bronze look. I like this because I can just like press it right into the cheekbone area. Then going in with more of like a fluffy brush, I will do the same thing and just do the, the classic like three motion. Gotta take it under the jawline, especially when I have fake tan because then it like makes the face blend into the neck. For blush, I'm using my favorite blush, the Pat McGrath Desert Orchid. It's this gorgeous like bronzy coral. I honestly wear this every time I wear blush. And I love to put it on the nose year round because it just looks so much better. Like it ties your face together in my opinion. Here using the Anastasia Brow Wiz, I just brush them up and I like to fill in the ends. I lightly fill in the front, very, very lightly. I do not want it to look be dramatic. For mascara, I'm using the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. I love, love this for glam. Glam look, this is the best mascara. It just looks like you have false lashes on, which is the best because I hate applying false lashes. Like I love the way false lashes look, but I truly just like can't do it. I mean, I can, but I, I hate it because like an hour, of having lashes on and just like knowing there's glue on my eyeball, I can't do it. I just wanna peel it off. So that's where we're at. So this mascara is honestly heaven sent. I had to finish my makeup off camera because I'm running so late, it's 6.30. I technically need to leave the house right now and it's giving me mad throwback to this time last year exactly when I'm like, guys, I need to go, I did my makeup, bye. Um, but I'll quickly go over what I did for the remainder of the look just to like, you know, finish the conversation. I used the Pat McGrath brown liner on the lower lash line just to like tie the look together. On the lips, I'm using Slip by Merit. And then for lip liner, I'm using the Victoria Beckham Lip Definer in the shade two. These two together are my dream nude combo. And that's the makeup. I actually wanna do a little highlight. So I'm gonna use this like Merit highlight in the shade Kava, just a little bit. I like this because it's a cream product and it makes your face look like you're like glowing from within, which you know, that's never a bad idea. Okay. I always do this. I always, always do this. I'm like, ah, I'm running late. And then I continue to do my makeup. Put on my jewels. Um, I had a wonderful idea to do these like big bangles that I ordered from Mango, but they're huge and they don't fit me. Like they fall off my wrist and they just look weird on. So I just did my classic bracelet sets. This on one side, another side. And my necklace is this gorgeous necklace that I stole from my mom a while back. It's so beautiful. Like this thing, this thing is gorge. <laughs> That's why I stole it. And then on my hands, I have on my favorite rings. These are Daphine, which is a brand that I fully discovered on my own. And I, now I feel like so many people know about it, which is a good thing because I love this brand. It, they make the best jewelry. It's so gorgeous. I will show you my outfit and then I will leave the house. <laughs> I have on this slip dress and then I have on just tights from Woolford and my heels are Saint Laurent. And this is the full look of the night and I'm gonna do a long black coat because it is freezing up today. The bag that I'm wearing tonight, which I feel like really ties the look together is my favorite YSL Saint Cassette. And I just feel like overall this look is so me. It's all black, it's comfortable, it's classic. And I just know in 10 years, I'm gonna look at this outfit and go, yeah, I'm gonna wear this. I wanna wear this today. We are now ready. This is how the makeup turned out. I feel like I was kind of a hater about my dark shadow, but it definitely grew on me and I kind of like it. This is, this is the birthday makeup. My battery's gonna die again and I need to leave the house. So I will see you guys at Mamo.